and we are back at the Big Red Barn Winter Show, Round Top, Texas. This is video four, and again, I am Franz Helwig, and you can email or text me if you see anything you'd like to buy, have any questions, or would like uh, me to email large photos that you can um, blow up and look at. If you also know anyone that wants to sell cut glass, please contact me. Here's a large flaring bowl. Um, it is 10 and 3 quarter inches in diameter. It really shows well. Good blank, nicely cut. You can kind of get an idea of the shape. There is one tooth that was polished in it that I can see, but it's a great buy at only 125. Haven't seen one of these in years. It's a turtleback ice cream tray. Very thick, heavy blank, cut with cane. Um, hop stars it could be Clark um, trying to think of the pattern it's on the last catalog in the big catalog collection El Tova that's what it looks like it might be El Tova but it's good quality 32 point hop stars on the ends and it's now only $7.95 I'm discounting it here's a great quality 13 and a half inch tray in Neola by Libby it's signed the blank is about five eighths of an inch thick it's heavy brilliantly cut wonderful flashing it's almost like lighting in itself it reflects the light so 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 much great hop stars they're three-dimensional and the tray is 3195 it's a wonderful 17 inch tall shoulder vase. Clark and Ohio Cut Glass did these. Step cut scalloped top. Great big beautiful hob stars. Unique style cutting double miter framing these um, smaller hob stars in a diamond. Great brilliant cane cutting. Really well done piece. Stacked hob stars which are more reminiscent of Clark than Ohio. But uh, very impressive piece in person at 17 inches tall six inch diameter at the shoulders and that's a nice buy at only 24.95 so 12 and a half inch diameter tray it's footed has three feet it's cut and then engraved with pears and leaves it's uh, probably Czechoslovakian I would think from the 1960s 1970s um, but a nice big serving tray at 12 and a half and it's a mere $55. So beautiful 11 inch tray, Hawks Gravit glass, cut in their, engraved in their strawberry design. Beautiful realistic strawberries. There's a lot of detail in the strawberries. Great Hobstar Center. It's signed with the trefoil mark. And that's a heck of a buy for this show for only $625. Uh, 12 inch diameter tray, cut in a pinwheel design with flashed fans. I believe this could be Iorio. Um, not, I don't have enough information to, to uh, confirm that, but it's a nice big tray for only $155. Here's a signed Elsie pattern 12 inch tray. Kind of has a recessed center and the wafer base at the bottom. Um, nice engraving, unique hob stars. And its pattern is shown on page 38 of the Fry Glassware book, and the tray is $5.95, heavy blank. There's a great big 16 inch tall basket, 11 inches wide, and it's signed Hawks. Hollow diamond center, hob star cutting, um, triple diamond cut handles, hob star base, ruffled rim. It's got a lot of bells and whistles. I haven't exactly nail down the pattern it seems like it's got a combination of different ruffled pieces shown in the first Hawks ACJ catalog but that's a really unique basket it's $12.50 I'll um, do $9.95 for the show this is a great big impressive um, piece it's cut in gooseberries and pears by Pitkin and Brooks this is probably something you've never seen it repeats three galleries of hop stars, has a uniquely cut rim. The copper wheel engraving is really well done. It's a great quality piece and big and impressive at 14 inches tall and 5 inches diameter. 
and it is 1850. There's a really nice <clears throat> five light candelabra, silver plate top, and then cut glass bottom, of course. It is 21 inches tall, 22 inches wide, um, very nice to put on a table, and it is $13.95. Here's an assortment of butter pats, salts, almond dishes, nut dishes, and such. I have um, four of these oval hawks dishes. Those are only $35 each. I have two of these oval dishes. They're similar to Elmira or Strauss patterns, and they are only $35 each. I have three of these mitered leaf-shaped dishes. They would be almonds, probably, or peanuts, and they are $35 each. I have one of these um, two-handled salts, very well cut. These are really collectible, and that one is $55. It's hard to find those. I've got four of these butter pats. Again, very heavily cut. Sorry about the focus, uh, but a lot of detail in those, and those butter pats are only $35 a piece. I have one of this leaf-shaped nut dish, strawberry diamond and fan, and it's only $45. has the little tab or handle that's got step cutting. I have two of these butter pats, which I believe are Bergen, uh, but I haven't had a chance to look it up. They're really well cut, good blanks. They're very sparkly. $35. I got one of these butter pats. Um, it's nicely cut, not fancy, but, but nicely done. And it's only $15. Some individual salts. $10 for the feathered one. The wide miters, notched prisms is $15. Um, this one's 10. It's kind of has a flaring top um, Simple miters Then I've got a set of six notched prisms um, Individual salts for the table and the set is only $45, but that's for all six and I have two of these Libby Kingston pattern tumblers They're shown in the Foster or Libby book and these are 45 each I've got one of these Kelowna uh, shot glasses. I think the rim was polished, but it was well done, whoever did it. Um, and it's only $5. Then I have six of these Libby, not Libby, I'm sorry, of these uh, double shot whiskey tumblers. Uh, nicely done, hob stars, fans, cross hatched uh, triangles. There's six and they're 45 each. I have a single Libby Ellesmere tumbler. It's signed, um, well done. Kane Hobstar, the wide fancy miners. It's shown in the red gray catalog and the single is 325. Those are hard to come by. Here's a Hawks oil and vinegar bottle. It's got the engraved floral design plus the words oil and vinegar and it um, has the measurements of where you're supposed to put each. Has the Hawks um, signed stopper with the floral engraved top. And it's seven, in, seven and a half inches tall and it's $85. Here's another six whiskey shot glasses. These are cut in a really nice pinwheel design, star cut base, opposing fans in between. They are 35 each, and I have six of those. And there, here's a set of eight tumblers. I know I've seen these somewhere, but have not been able to trace them. Or well, I've not had the time, I should say. Um, nice in the hand. They are three and three quarters tall, three inches diameter, and it's $3.95 for all eight. And then I have two Pitkin and Brooks Raja pattern tumblers. These are shown in their catalog, 1908 catalog on page 23. Four inches tall, and those are 55 each. 
And I've got a pair of nine inch tall candlesticks. These are Hawks flutes pattern. They have the miters running over the edge of the base. They have faceted knobs below the candle cup and a solid round wafer above the foot. And again, nine inches tall and 275. Haven't had a rum jug in ages. And here's one in uh, Libby's Venetia pattern. It's shown in their catalog, the big catalog on page 139 as the button stopper with the hop star on it and a stopper maybe the stopper is signed no nope, maybe it's numbered okay and then a di triple diamond cut handle and it is 595 another one one rated pattern is this Tuthill vintage aka grapes oval tray um, has a deep sides on it with Hopstar Gallery, deeply engraved too. They're carved out, you can put your finger in those. And it's about 12 and a half to 13 inches long. Uh, lovely copper wheel engraving. And it is only 325, I'm sorry. It's a beautiful engraved footed cologne by Hawks, six inches tall, nice scalloped foot. Has a hollow teardrop engraved and cut stopper, and it is three ninety five. It's a trellis type design. You can see the clear channel cutting. Don't know who the maker is. It has alternating hop star buttons and cross hatch buttons and clear trellis cutting framing those. Um, eight inches diameter and two and a quarter inches deep. And that's $3.95, but I'll do a show special of $200 if someone wants to jump on that. There's a cute creamer, individual creamer. It's cut in Wild Rose by Tuthill. And I don't have sugar, but the, the individual creamers are only 10 And that'll conclude video 4. Stay tuned for video 5.